Want to hear a story about a client we had who was charged with aggravated arson and whose first attorney told him that only Jesus himself could keep him from going to prison? You want to hear how we kept this client from going to prison? I'm about to tell you right now. Hi, my name is Daniel M. Rosenberg. I'm a criminal defense attorney and the founding partner of Rosenberg Perry & Associates. It is also my personal goal and passion to provide information and education about the criminal justice system before people become involved and entrenched in the system. So in this case, a young man in his early 20s was charged with aggravated arson. He also suffered from a learning disability and had a speech impediment. The allegation was that he burned down a house that was located in his neighborhood. At the time of the alleged arson, there were three other individuals who were present with my client. So the state had three independent witnesses that were saying that my client caused the arson. Law enforcement also took a statement from my client prior to our becoming involved. And in that statement, our client provided certain incriminating facts. The most significant of those facts were that he admitted to being at the location at the time of the arson and that he was talking to the other witnesses who were there about potentially burning down this building. So this young man was eventually arrested and charged with aggravated arson. Prior to our becoming involved, this young man and his family hired a local law firm and that law firm indicated to him that they could avoid prison time. And for a year of the litigation, that's what the representation was. And then after that year, there was a meeting with my client and his parents in which the attorney advised them that you're looking at prison time and it can't be avoided. The family was understandably upset. And in response, the attorney advised my client's parents that only Jesus himself could keep their son out of prison. So they sought a second opinion. They came to our office and explained everything that was going on. They were not looking for a free pass. They were not looking for a not guilty finding. They were looking to avoid prison time. And they thought with their prior attorney, they'd be able to avoid prison time. But when that messaging changed from the attorney, they lost trust and sought our advice. When we first met with the family, they advised that the offer that was extended was three years in New Jersey State Prison, 85% of which must be served without the possibility of parole. That is a NERA, No Early Release Act offer. They were also advised that they didn't accept that offer. At the next court date, that offer would accelerate to five years, 85% without the possibility of parole. The first thing we did is analyze the statute and we determined that this was not a NERA offense, meaning not every aggravated arson requires an 85% period of parole and eligibility. It's only specific aggravated arson charges under specific statutes. In this case, our client was indicted under a non-NERA statute. So we immediately realized that this was an illegal offer. Meaning, if it was accepted, it could not be lawfully imposed upon our client. So the next step was to communicate this to the prosecutor in a way that was not offensive or condescending or argumentative because the prosecutor we were talking to was the same prosecutor who indicted the case, which means they should have known that it wasn't a NERA case, which means they should have known they shouldn't be offering a NERA offer, neither here nor there. We met with the prosecutor, conveyed this in a way that was not offensive and non-confrontational. The prosecutor appreciated the manner in which we presented the facts and the arguments that we were making. Rather than building a conflict, we built a bridge with that prosecutor and opened up the lines of communication. We provided that prosecutor with an expert report showing some of the cognitive deficiencies that our client had. We also provided mitigating information which gave the state reasons to amend their offer more favorably. In addition to this expert report, we also filed a motion to suppress my client's statement, meaning that we made the allegation that it was illegally obtained from our client in violation of his constitutional rights, and therefore they couldn't use his statement against him. After approximately a year of litigation, we were able to achieve the result we were seeking, which was a resolution that avoided all prison altogether. Our client accepted a resolution where he did have a felony conviction. That being said, he never spent a day in county jail, never spent a day in state prison. Today, our client is confident, successful, and gainfully employed. So rather than going to state prison and putting this young man's life in a downward spiral, we were able to effectively save this young man's life and put him on a path to rehabilitation. So if you, a friend or family member, has been charged with a crime or offense here in New Jersey, we can help. Contact our office. We'll take the time we need to go over your facts and circumstances, explain the situation, and give you all of your options, and put you in the best position for the best possible result. And if you like what you've seen in this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any topics you'd like to learn more about, please leave a comment below or contact our office. I'd love to hear about them. We are criminal trial attorneys. We have your back. That's what we do.